What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with the first impressions video of Watch Dogs. Now I'm going to get out the car so you guys can see the car I'm driving. And I want you to see the character Aiden Pierce, of course. So yeah, let's get in the car and do some driving. Before I do get in this car, I want to point out in the app section in the game. Hold on, let me turn off the music. Alright, so when you go to the app section, look at the cars on demand. And you could tell that each car has individual performance. As you guys see there, it has a top speed, acceleration, durability, and handling. A lot of people were complaining about how the cars look like they move slow. If you're in a generic car, like the cheap economic cars that they have in this game, they're going to move slow compared to like a sports car, obviously. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about was the graphics. A lot of people are talking about the graphics, that it looks cheap, and that, uh, you know, it doesn't that it doesn't run good on consoles obviously on PC they get the ultra edition of watchdogs and that's awesome but you know for those of you like myself that have the console you want this game to look good now I'm gonna tell you I'm playing this game and I absolutely love the graphics it looks way better than Grand Theft Auto and I'm not lying it's not the crazy next-gen graphics that you would want but we're not there yet you know we're just not there yet for for a game that's coming out on both consoles, I mean on all multi-platforms like you know Xbox 360, PS3, stuff like that, this game looks fantastic on next gen and I cannot recommend it enough. It was raining uh, and the weather, the atmosphere, the environment, everything just changed and I loved how the rain looked. It looked so crispy on my 50 inch TV. Uh, I'm just telling you right now, this game runs at over 900 hertz on the PS4, 720 on the Xbox One. And it just looks awesome. No screenshot, no gameplay videos by IGN or no Twitch uh, streams are gonna make this game, you know, look as good as it really does. You gotta actually play it and feel it to judge it. So I'm telling you right now, I definitely recommend it. This is my first impressions video, obviously. And I'm gonna give this game a 9.5. I can't give it a 10 because you can't shoot outside the car. You know, sometimes that becomes necessary when you're doing online you know getaways or drive-bys obviously but that is not a horrible thing because this game doesn't want to be like Grand Theft Auto this game wants to be its own and you're playing a vigilante not a massacre killer so they don't want you to be a killer they want you to be you know the guy that takes people out for the greater good and not kill them like in Grand Theft Auto so you got to stop comparing this game to Grand Theft Auto you know, this is a game on its own, it's unique and it's fun. And I give it a 9.5 because it lived up to the hype. It's been so much fun since I turned this game on and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Graphics, the feel for it, the guns, the handling, everything seems like it's just very enjoyable. And that's what I wanted from this game. And that's what I got, as you guys see here, I'm uh, going through the Chicago uh, main bridges in the downtown area. And I know maybe on your screen, it doesn't look as good as on mine. But I'm telling you right now, take my word for it. I recommend this game if you have a next-gen console. What are you waiting for? Go out and get it. I will do more gameplay videos, and I will do a full review. Thanks for watching my first impressions. I don't want to do a mission because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But, yeah, I just want to show you guys. Woo, little 360 turn right there. But, yeah, guys, I'm telling you right now, go out and get Watch Dogs. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to more Watch Dogs gameplay videos. Peace.